kilos. Okay, so we're in the first week of April. Um, we're still in the process of moving in. The whiskey is here. So this will probably be the only time I'll shoot in this format because I've actually, my computer's now sort of orientated that way. I've set the camera up simply because I wanted to show off my collection. Um, I took a photo of it, so those who follow me on Facebook probably saw that. That was actually a premature photo because I was, that was Easter Sunday. We just got back from the in-laws. Um, I thought I'd unpacked all my whiskey, and then the next morning I found the, the Esky hadn't been unpacked. So there was another eight bottles there, and then Mel found another four in my car that I had packed previously, and then just got during one of the transition trips. And then when I was cleaning up the um, place, came across another uh, three bottles so yeah lots of whiskies hello dax yeah don't get any ideas <laughs> thank you dax <laughs> anyhow just to discourage it from jumping in there we go Okay, um, so yeah, so probably from now on I'll probably either green screen, or I don't know how much space I've got, or maybe out on porch. Either way. Um, so, now, when I was um, cleaning, I had discovered a some whiskey that Mel had hidden away, intended to be a gift for myself. Uh, she lost. So, I thought we'd try it. Now, I, when I read, first read the box, I thought it, it was a Starwood. I thought it was a Starwood with a old fashioned um, uh, syrup. Um, but it's not. So what it was was a box of Starwood Twofold, which is a double grain whiskey. And the Starwood uh, whiskey cocktail, the old fashioned. Now, we've actually tried both of these before um, the twofold was years ago I was back at the other place in, in Cessna when we tried that one um, so I'm willing to try that one again and I have got a larger bottle of this for in the Christmas whiskey advent calendar that Mel had put together herself um, but I've had a rough day let's drink so Uh, allow me to dedicate this video to Michelle, Debbie, Angela, and Kylie. <laughs> we did it. Okay, so we're going to try first of all the um, the cocktail. So simply pour over ice. Um, my whiskey tumblers are still packed in a suitcase somewhere you with clothes. Um, we're just going through the process because they're all gotten a bit musty in that old um, shed. So we're just in the process of just wa wa washing my clothes as we put them away. Um, so I'm just using one of my um, plastic tumblers. Mmm. Oh, you can smell the orange zest. Um, yeah, it smells like an old fashioned. Yeah, bit of orange zest. Um, the whiskey, I don't know, what's this made with the two fold? It just says new old fashioned. I said it smells like the one we had at around Christmas, so. Mm. Delicious. Yep. Yeah. It's zesty, it's got a nice orange taste to it. Um, the bitters. Mm. Um, yeah, can be quite partial to an old fashioned. And before we finish that, I'll grab a glass. I am sport for choice now with my um, Glen Glens. We are going to try. Where's the split? There you are. Let's start with twofold. So, we have the nice golden colour. Mmm, smell the vanilla straight away. Mmm, 
caramel. Here's the two primary smells I'm getting. Mm, very smooth. Um, a little bit sweet. Definitely got uh, some caramel, definitely got some vanilla. Not picking up a lot of citrus. I think that's probably because it's a grained whiskey, not a malt. Um, but they're all delicious, a nice, easy drink. So, yeah. Okay, so they'll do us this week. Next week is, of course, hopefully will be delivery week. So we'll be sampling whatever we get from the club. And yeah, so until then, sometime.